What are we driving? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, true, man, you <laughs> <track. laughs> What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So today is the day we finally get the exhaust and dime pipe fitted to the borer and get this car one step closer to being back on the road. And here we have the exhaust laid out waiting to go. I managed to score this dark side development two and a half inch race pipe from a guy in Queensland. He managed to buy this and not realizing it wasn't for a Mark V. So he put it onto Gumtree and I snatched it for an absolute steal. Uh, same again with the, um, with the Miltec exhaust system. I found that on Gumtree as well and that was an absolute steal. It was in New South Wales so I had to get a friend drop off to Melbourne and when I picked up that car from Melbourne I managed to pick up the exhaust at the same time as well. Brand new, brand new. So I thought I was going to use this exhaust for that car. But um, yeah, I thought, try it on the borer. Let's see how we go. If you don't like it, then I can get a custom system made up later and then use that for another car. But um, while we're here, we can install it to this car. So with the Miltec system, what I've got to bear in mind as well is the fact that the tips are facing out, not down, like the sock exhaust system. I've actually measured from the hanger to the end of the tips and I reckon it's going to come close to here. So I do have a full motion rear lip there. I may just swap over and then we can have the exhaust showing here rather than being blocked by that rear lip. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll remove that whole exhaust system off first. Let's start from the down path and work our way back. I'm under the car now. Uh, two nuts are easy to get off from underneath here, so they're both off. I have to go back onto the top and get the third one off. Then we can take this downpipe off or what's left of it and install the new one. And just like that, the downpipe is out. At the end of it, I actually had to get all the uh, the nuts up from underneath. I uh, had to line up the which one was it? This one here. I line that one up from the top and then go underneath and get some leverage on the uh, ratchet because I could not get it from the top. Fits out, as you can see, massacred the actual downpipe. The other half still in there, attached to the other, uh, other part of the exhaust, so I'll take that off next. And then uh, yeah, carry on taking off the rest of the, uh, the exhaust, but for now, it's probably the hardest bit of the whole job done. All right, so moving along, we've got the two 17mm nuts for the clamp that the joins the down part to the exhaust. Next is the 17 mil, so we've got two, four, six, and eight. predicament we're in so that pipe is so long than that end that side of the axle you're never gonna get a better twist it anyway to try and get it out um, so I think I'm gonna have to just make a cut somewhere up here get a cut off and then bye bye exhaust system let's get it out That was difficult. It was probably harder than it should have been. Uh, a couple more cuts with the angle grinder and got it out. Had to twist the muffler to try and snap the rest of it because I couldn't cut all the way around. Uh, a reciprocating saw could have been maybe a little bit easier. Maybe it would have been easier if I left it on the mounts, bolted in. Who knows? Uh, it's off now. 
Now we can go ahead and mocking up the new exhaust and let's see if we have to change that rear lip after all. So just as I thought, the tips come out too far. So I've got to go ahead and change that rear lip for the full motion one. So just like the V5, just cut that small bit off here and now that should clear the tow hook that's on the front wheel drive. So with the rear lip on and the exhaust mounted in temporarily, um, I'm actually liking the look of that a lot. Not sure what's going to happen with the diesel and all the soot that comes out. We'll figure that out later down the track, but at the moment that looks really sporty and uh, kind of the vibe I'm going for with this car. So let's move on to the rest of the exhaust and get this all mounted up. Damp up next and a brand new gasket from Volkswagen. That took about 15 days to get here because they said it was from Sydney. It actually came from bloody Singapore. So thanks Volkswagen. We got there in the end, but what a fuck around. Let's get this in. So it is the next morning guys, and I gave up last night about 11.30. Turns out that I have to replace the stud with a bolt. I emailed Darkside Developments. They responded back to, me, back to me within like 10 minutes, which is awesome. Shout out to them for being so uh, so cooperative. They turned around and told me that if I bought the kit brand new, I would have had a bolt included with the kit as well as a couple of nuts. Uh, obviously, I bought the downpipe from a guy in Queensland, and he obviously has the hardware still. Didn't send it down. God knows why. Obviously, he wanted to keep it and uh, needed it more than me. So, off to Bunnings, I went this morning, got myself some 8mm Allen head bolts. That should make life a little bit easier installing it. But the issue we're going to have is the, down, the stud for the downpipe. So, bought myself a blowtorch and got myself a stud extracting tool as well. So, we'll have to extract that stud first, put a bit of heat with it. Hopefully, it comes out fairly easy. And then we can go ahead and put the downpipe on, bolt it up with that bolt and we can continue getting the rest of this exhaust fitted to this borer. With a bit of heat, that tool works a bloody treat. So much better than that two nut situation. Just have to make sure I had a spanner on here when I was tightening this up so it actually clamp on that whole stud. But um, she's coming out. Let's get this bloody down pump on shall we? We have a small situation. I've installed the downpipe and then something didn't look quite right. So I went ahead and installed the rest of the Miltech exhaust system to see if the downpipe exhaust would meet up correctly. And they don't. So the downpipe is wrong. It's from a it's from Darkside Developments, so that's correct. But it's for a Polo or a Fabia or a CIB so it's not for a Mark IV. So there's two different uh, designs on the dark side development page and the one I have is not for the Mark IV. So I'll jump into the car and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so this is the first part I thought was a bit funny looking. Um, the hangers, as you can see, they're hanging under the subframe itself, not on top. Um, the brackets sit like that for the Mark IV. So these should be going straight into these holes here. I can't bend these anymore to, to kind of go straight into there. I don't want to be breaking any of the welds here. That's the exhaust, as you can see. So the exhaust is fitted. Not very well, because I had to take that apart to fit this part in there. But um, yeah, because this is sitting so high, to clear everything else it's putting a lot of pressure on that flex pipe as well and it's now hitting that a uh, um, heat shield so yeah it's not like I said it's not even long enough see like this is the, the exhaust and this is the down pipe so I've got what three fingers yeah see so it's, so it's not even long enough so I'd have to extend that too um, over here 
this was rubbing on here when I have fit it before so it might, that might just be a, a hanging issue but um, yeah that is the predicament I am in at the moment so guys leave a comment down below what do you think I should do do you think I should be cutting up this down pipe or do you think I should be selling it on preferably it would probably be easier for me just to take it off find someone with a polo and then sell it and then we'll build the other down pipe up so yeah Got a, uh, got a lot of thinking to do, haven't I? Um, the other option I've got would be to get that straightened up somehow and cut. I'll obviously leave the hangers on there because I need the hangers. And then um, I could go get a pipe welded. Obviously not this one because this was the other, the other half of it. So that was kind of what it was like on the car. But if I had it straightened there, cut, get a pipe welded straight through, and I could use that adapter on that exhaust and then that could work for now like I said it's, it's not a upgraded turbo so no need to have such a big down pipe at the moment but um, yeah it's one of those things where you buy it thinking it's gonna be a win it didn't really work very well but um, at least at least the exhaust fits I'm happy with that I've just got to make sure the rest of it fits up nicely when I get the down pipe sorted so Yes, what a turn of events. So that is the situation I'm in at the moment, guys. I've got two options. I can either modify the dark side of element one, or I can sell it and fix up the cut up down pipe from the wreckers. In saying that, if you want to buy the dark side development one from me, you only need a gasket and some hardware. Be sure to comment down below or contact me through my Instagram page. I'll leave that link to my description as well. And um, yeah, well, whatever I sell it for, I can put the money straight back into this and get the other downpipe fixed and whatever else needs fixing on this car. So probably going to end the video here. The, the downpipe and uh, exhaust install was pretty much done. Yes, it's the wrong parts, but you kind of get the idea. It's a pretty easy uh, concept. The exhaust, because it is made for the car, it's a straight fit. Apart from the rear lip that I had to replace, but I like the rear lip now. The, the full motion one with the twin tips this looks really good, so hopefully it can keep like, keep it nice and clean with all the soot coming out. But uh, we'll figure that out at the later stage. And obviously with the downpipe, I may end up buying another one in the future. But for now, if I can go ahead and probably sell that dark side of element one, and then just fix the OEM one, at least it gets the car back on for now. And we can move on to the next steps and the next videos for this project. So if you're liking the content, guys, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, then chuck on a subscribe and click the notification bell as well. I'm so close to 400 subscribers as well, guys. So if you can chuck on a subscribe and get me to 400 soon, that would be amazing. And uh, so thanks again for everyone for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.